those odds. <sighs> Give me the coin. I need... I need the result. Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't. I don't know what to do! If you insist. No! <laughs> Bruce. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much. I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne. I'm the best I've ever been. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love? will burn. Your usual tea, and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce... These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Even those who loved you most. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. 
I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here, and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Well, no surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald was... <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it... Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course.
Vicky Vale, mid-30s reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD Headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. She stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? Uh, I suppose there is no honor amongst thieves. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. I trusted you. And you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. Although, it only seems fair that I take something from you. You didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. 